Hi guys, this is Kylie and Karma, and today I might kill myself by clipping my horse. I'm going to teach you how to clip. Um, basically, it's really easy, but you just have to be careful because if you cut off too much hair, your horse will be like bald in certain sections, and if you um, don't cut off enough hair, then you'll have like hair sticking out in certain places, so you just have to be really careful and know what you're doing. You probably should have someone demonstrate this first. I never did. I just did it myself, and um, yeah, so I'm just going to like show you what I know. <laughs> I'm not going to do a full body clip, I'm just going to do a really quick trim on her bridle path and her legs and under her chin like normal areas. Karma, you're a butthead. Don't knock that. Okay, so what you're going to do is since your horse's uh, halter is in the way of the bridle path, what you're going to do is you're going to... Just move your halter down like to where the bridle path stops. Just like loosen it if you can. And then you're gonna just trim all of this bridle path in between the um, forelock and the mane where the mane starts. So this is her entire bridle path. You can see it's like overgrown. So I'm gonna get her to put her head down for me and get her to behave, she's being very naughty. And I'm gonna turn on the clipper and just see how she reacts to it. I'm just going to show this vibration to her so that she doesn't get spooked by it. And she doesn't seem to be scared of the vibration at all. I'm going to move around her. Just make sure she's fine. She's not freaking out at all. And it's vibrating next to her. Put your head down. Okay, she's respecting me more. And this is just making her a little bit nervous, but I'm going to start um, back here. And then I'm going to go upwards. And see all the hair already came off. Back here, my knife. And you want to make sure you don't get it too close to their skin either because that can really irritate them and hurt them and cut them. Make sure your horse is listening to you like mine's not listening to me. <laughs> I just want her head to stay down and she's just being really naughty. Put your head down. It's okay. You want to make sure you don't get too close to the forelock because that would look really ugly and you don't want an ugly horse. <laughs> so you, you want to make sure that it just looks natural and kind of just get where you can. It's not going to be perfect, especially for your first time, so don't worry about it. And sometimes when you get up to the forelock point, you want to switch your um, your uh, shaver, and you might want to face it this way, going backward, because then the hair gets tracked this way, and it's easier to get it. But when you're going just like like up here where you can reach it, it might be easier to just go normal. But I sometimes flip it around. Because you want to get as close as possible to the hair, to the um, natural hair. And then I have to get closer up here. Good, good. good.
Make sure you praise your horse too. Be like, good girl, good boy. So that they know that they're doing what's right. And I want her to be calm and stay calm. I don't want to make her nervous. go now she's pretty much done with her bridle path that looks pretty much even and it's where her bridle is going to sit and it's where her um, halter is going to sit and it's in that entire selection and now what I'm going to do since that's done I'm going to turn off my clipper for a second and I'm just going to check around the other side because I've been on this side I'm just going to check to make sure there's no hair up here and I'm just going to see where her bridle path ends and if I got the section right and I got it pretty close and it looks pretty good. And she's not in discomfort or anything. So now what I'm gonna do is see if um, I can get to her ears. Some horses are sensitive with their ears so you need a professional or to sedate them when you're doing their ears. And it's important you do this. I'm just gonna see how she reacts. So being near her ear, I'm gonna have the vibration touch her ear and she doesn't seem to bother by it, if you can see. So I'm just gonna start to trim slowly like on the sides and work my way up. I don't want to cut her or anything because ears are very sensitive. Oh, did that tickle? Tickled her a little bit. She's fine. You want to keep it like as um, as soft as you can. And that is the end result of the bridal path.